Right, so what is going on guys? Welcome back to another vid. Today what we're gonna do is go over the running costs of this car. A lot of people have been asking, what's your fuel bill? How many miles do you get for a tank? So I thought I'd make a video like giving you a rough idea how it is to run this sort of car. I forgot to mention in my previous videos that I've actually had this car since September 1st. So it has done about three and a half thousand miles. So I thought I'd be able to give a good idea of what it's like. It's not as efficient as you would think. Don't believe the facts and figures that I do give you because they're just wrong. So what we're going to do is go on a little drive, which I haven't actually done on camera before, so this should be interesting. And then we'll just talk about what sort of running costs are. Simple as that. So yeah, let's get going. Right, so here we are guys on the road. As you can see, I'm driving. I don't just walk around in the car and make videos, just showing the interior and turning it on. I do actually drive it. So. Let's get on to the topic on hand, which is what sort of fuel consumption do I get from this car? Um, first of all, apologies if the exposure is a bit messed up. It keeps switching around as there's no clouds out today, so the sun is just beaming everywhere. I can't complain because it's always raining here in England, but yeah, it's causing a bit of an issue. Right, so first I'm going to talk about how many miles I get to a tank. I'd probably say on average I get 180 miles to a tank. That might seem pretty bad, but that's just what I expected really, because I was getting 260, 270 miles out of my diesel Golf, which is what I had before, and now I'm getting approximately 180 to 200. That equates to about 18 mpg, I think, which is what the car is telling me. I haven't done the calculation, so any maths worries don't at me. Now, that is all the inner city driving urban as it's called on the spec sheet Audi say this should do high 20s in that regard but I've never seen anywhere near high 20s especially with stop start traffic it just doesn't happen uh, first second third gear you ain't gonna get that also the modes of course people think okay yeah, there's there's the efficient mode there's dynamic and there's auto I totally leave out the efficient mode because I find that the car's too sort of laggy and it's a bit dim-witted and it also just knocks it into neutral every time you approach a junction or you let go of the gas and I just don't like having no control. So I get, like I said, 18 mpg. Some of you may be shocked but some of you who have had hot, hot hatches like this you'll know that that's pretty normal. That to me is also pretty fine but on the motorways I, I think that's where this car could be a bit better even though considering it's got 7 gears. I've tried it on the motorway to get a bit more MPG out of it just to test it not because um, I like sitting at 56 miles an hour I just thought let's see if Audi can match what the car actually does and it gets approximately 35 to 40 on the motorway that's when the car had about two and a half thousand miles on it now that sounds a bit shocking as well because 35 on the motorway you would think a two litre engine should easily be able to do 45 50 and yes the figure is around 50 mpg for this car but like i said it's an s3 isn't it it's not a 1.2 tdi or a 1.6 tdi or whatever engines they put in these sort of eco models nowadays it's gonna have some drawbacks it might look like i'm whinging in this video but i didn't get this car for the fuel efficiency i knew it was gonna be bad so it doesn't really bother me what it will matter is if you're buying this car based on the fact you think it's going to be efficient it's not going to be just be aware of that if that's the case you're better off with something like a GED or a I think there's an 184 horsepower 2 litre TDI in the A3 you can get so you get a bit of performance but you get some efficiency to me though I don't really do many miles I do about 5k a year 5k mileage as in 5000 and it it's pretty insignificant really so yeah that's roughly what I get. In terms of other running costs, I can't really advise you guys on that because the car is quite new yet, so it hasn't needed anything so far in the first three, four months of ownership. Not one thing really at all. It's just been perfectly solid. There's a lot of sun here. So yeah, the car's been perfectly solid otherwise. It's just fuel that I put in. Right, there is a bit of a sun issue here. Let me just turn around and then go back to it. I wish I could show you guys, but I'm right behind the B7 RS4, one of my favorite Audis of all time. It's actually in the state as well. But 
I don't want to take the camera off the suction mat. It takes bloody ages to go back on. He took off. So yeah, let's get back to what I was talking about. But yeah, it was me basically saying that on the motorway, this does 35. I've actually tried that twice. It doesn't go any higher than that. If Audi wants to contact me and tell me why that is, that's fair enough. I'm not bashing the car because I love the car, but it won't go any higher than that. So it just basically makes this car not very good for motorway driving, which is probably not its purpose, but it is marketed as a sort of daily driver and usable car. It's not a full-on sports car, is it? It's a hatchback. So it should be able to do the 50 that they claim. Obviously, I'm having high hopes because it, it is Volkswagen Automotive Group, but we know they're pretty good at estimating their figures, aren't they? So, can't have high hopes there. Yeah, so this video is just basically to give some of the people asking questions an idea of the fuel efficiency. The best thing to do is, is basically enjoy your car. If you get a car like this, don't worry too much about fuel. Have a rough idea. Of course, I'm not saying just waste it everywhere, go in dynamic mode everywhere. Because you, you're just going to burn the tank completely, but just have fun in the car. Like, give it like a bit of like gas, like do this. Do you know what I mean? You can't beat that. It puts a smile on your face every time. It doesn't matter what anyone says. Oh yeah, I've got a remapped 330D. A 330D won't do that. It won't make that sound. And um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope this exposure didn't put you off the video because if you're still here, well done to you. I really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up the video that is if you enjoyed it and if it was useful to you because that's the key thing. I want to know if these videos are useful to you guys because I make them for you guys anyway. Subscribe if you want to. I ain't gonna force you like I always say. If you enjoy my videos, you'll enjoy my videos. I don't need to tell you to do anything, do I? I'll just leave you guys with one little acceleration.